Hello all, this is D-Swank. I am once again in Space Engineers, and this time I'm taking a look at this. It's a pretty one, isn't it? It is the MMAF L79 Cargo Hauler by Tumble. Now, Tumble has quite a bit of stuff on the workshop, has helped with mods in the past, but this particular ship is all vanilla, and there's several works that Tumble has put out that are... Um, has several stars. This is his late, or their latest work. Don't know Tumble, so can't don't feel comfortable saying he or she on that. Um, but anyway, what we have here is an all-vanilla cargo ship, very lightly armed. As far as I can tell, just two interior turrets. And flying around, there's a lot of partially done blocks. We have uh, LCDs. And the partially done blocks really make things pop, and I really like this. Well, it, oh, I did not realize I was going to be in here. But I like this in-cut that, that he did the, they did here. Yeah. Sorry, I keep tripping over my tongue. Come on, let me out, let me out. Okay. They did there, and I like the lights back in there. Um... I'm not really sure. I guess let's turn that on. Okay. Locks. Okay. So it's... Those are docking lock, I guess. We've got dumped cargo. So we can... If we have a ship here that has a way of ejecting ores, they, they just fall down and roll down into these collectors. We have docking ports, which apparently are all attached together, and they probably run into these cargo containers down here. We've got more, or partially ground down, um, what are these damn things called again? Uh, in interior passageways. Passageways, now okay. Kind of giving some shape to the hull. I like it. I had never thought about using them facing this direction. I would have had them facing the other direction just because I would have, oh, this is smooth, it's clean. But this I like. I actually do like them facing this direction. It breaks up the ship lines. Looks really nice. And I've used them similar to this before, but completely built. So, yeah, there's that. Now, what do we have here? Just red lights. Okay, breaking thrusters. I like the window glass in here. Got two solar panels. And I do like these, even though it's attached up here, making it look like these bits here are holding it. I do like that. I like the antenna bits with the lights on the back. Um, this doesn't go anywhere, but it does break up this flat plane here that would be here otherwise, um, which is nice. We've got the walkways, which are very minimalistic because they're barely here. And, ooh, we have rotor heads placed. I like that. That does give more shape and something to look at back here. And there's that other interior turret I was talking about. Component output there. Uh, let's see, we've got more rotor heads, kind of, I guess, sensor dome-like on here. And a laser antenna. And batteries and everything else. And of all, of course, stay safe. Safety first. So what's this? Uh, okay, that's just locking this here. I'm not sure I'm keen on uh, 
these blocks being ground down, that kind of feels odd to me, but it does kind of go with the ship overall. Um, well, let's go inside through what I call a dumb airlock. And we have a cargo container. Okay, so there's cargo container, a small reactor, another small reactor, another small reactor, another small reactor, an assembler, large cargo container, another small reactor, uh, exterior cargo stuff, another small reactor, another, 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 um, ice stuff, survival kit connector unload freighter cargo okay so not much there we have readouts I wonder which script this is uh, I don't have scripts turned on in this world so yeah okay Next. Yeah, this is just. This is just everything written out. Okay, next. Yeah. Now, these might be all set up to run uh, another script, and I probably should have had scripts turned on, but we're looking at the ship. So we've got two jump drives, which is nice. And, oh, It's moving pretty much with the mouse. So it's got some good gyros. Which is good considering it's a cargo ship. That's nice. Uh, does not have, obviously, is not atmosphere capable because no atmosphere or ion thrusters, so I'm not going to try and take it into the planet, but let's find a direction. Oh, that's something I usually do, but completely vapor locked. We've got reactors, gravity generator, um, laser antenna, sorters, a piston, Okay, I'm, I'm going to come to a stop and see what this piston is. Where it is. Piston. Oh, okay. It's in the front. So it, it, it reaches out. It grabs you and then proboscises you. Okay, that's... Oh, oh, yeah, that's nice detail. The, the idea that this thing can come up with the uh, landing foot, dock with it, and then you can adjust your connector. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. So let's pull that back in. And let's see, anything on two, three? No. All right, so it's just one plane. Okay. Our next is, in essence, the, let's see how fast this thing goes and how slow this thing goes. Alright. Actually, let's GPS a point. Move from current position. Alright. Full throttle. And plenty of power. I mean, uh, electrical power. And actually some pretty good thrust for getting the hell out of here. Alright. Close enough to 100. Took about a kilometer to accelerate to max speed. And we've got one, two... So we've got ten small braking. And I do love that sound. Uh, there's some things Keen has done that's really good. So, we're 
let's see, about a kilometer and a half braking time. And that's with this thing not full. So, there is that. Um, it probably is worse when it's, well, it's definitely worse once it's fully charged. Okay, what do we have up there? Just readouts of stuff. So, I know this is short, but this, I like this ship. I like the ship. Um, looks nice. Is. It's got an aesthetic. A u it's very much a used aesthetic. And I like that. Um, much more of a Star Wars than a Star Trek. Star Trek doesn't really feel used so much. Star Wars definitely is a used universe. Um, I like this bridge. I like the, the shape of the bridge. I like everything about the, sh the shape of the ship. And I like the used appearance of it because it doesn't look like a brand new cargo hull. Um, so, yeah, I, I like it. I, I enjoy this style, and I hope you do as well. So, if you want to mess around with this in your own world, I'll have the link in the description below. Go ahead, download it, play around with it, tell me what you think. And don't forget to tell Tumble what you think on the workshop page. So, until next time, buh bye bye